Welcome everybody to SL93. Yeah, I got a military helmet on. Um, a close friend of mine that's in the military donated this to me for SL93. And uh, he also donated a shell. So, this is a Kevlar helmet. He, uh, he follows me on SL93, so he's like, hey, here's these helmets. You get to wear that one. The one I get on now, while well, you do get to do the video, and he wants me to shoot this one up. So, this is going to be a three-part video. I am going to do, this is part one, obviously. I'm going to be doing rim fire, shooting at this with 22 rim fires. So, from 22 short up to 22 magnum, I got... Uh, like in my previous video, I got the uh, five different CCI 22s, and uh, which is the shorts, the quiets, standard velocities, mini mags, and copper 22s. Yesterday, I went to the store and I found a new CCI round. It's called the Segmented Hollow Point. It's a 32 grain environment round, traveling at 1,640 feet per second, and it looks almost identical to a Stinger, but it's a, well, it's a brass case. Stingers have steel casings. Uh, what happens with this is, I've never seen these before, so I had to pick them up. Uh, I'd say, uh, this is what it says on the side of the box. This cartridge utilizes new technology, delivering a higher level of rimfire stopping power on impact. The segmented hollow point projectile separates into three pieces tripling its effect resulting in maximum energy transfer so these are nasty little 22s not like a normal hollow point when you're shooting 22s almost like the um, RIP rounds so I'm gonna set up the helmet this one here and we're gonna shoot at it and see what the results are um, gonna be using my Savage single shot and then I'm gonna use my heritage rough rider for the 22 magnum because I don't have a 22 magnum rifle so I'm gonna get it set up down there and we're gonna start shooting start with a 22 short little tiny guy Twenty two short. All right. So I'm going to go up and mark it and be right back. All right. So you can see right here, it went in. All it did was just take off a little layer. All that is just the paint. Didn't do anything to it. Nope, just bounced straight off. Now, I'm going to go with the Quiet 22s. Had one in my pocket. CCI Quiet. That sounded like it bounced straight off it also. Let's go check it out. So, got the 22 short, and it looks like it hit right here. It didn't even dimple it, just bounced straight off. Twenty-two quiet right there. So, like I mentioned in my previous video with the uh, 22 shorts and the 22 quiets. The 22 shorts is a 29 grain bullet, traveling at 710 feet per second. The quiet 22s 
is a 40 grain bullet traveling at 710 feet per second. So all they're doing is just bouncing off. Now we're going to go with the standard velocity. These are traveling at 1,010 feet per second. The 1,070 feet per second, sorry. All right. Standard velocity. I knocked it off my table. The bullet is in the helmet. It bulged it. So, it caught it. Which is good. Now mark it. Twenty-two standard velocity. Well, next round I'm doing now is the twenty-two mini mag traveling at twelve hundred and thirty-five feet per second. That hit harder. Okay. So this one here was the mini mag. 22 mini mag. It penetrated. Didn't go through. Just bulged it out a little bit. Just like the uh, standard velocity did. I don't know if you guys can see that. Bulged it right out. Now, I did forget to mention that we're shooting at about 20 feet with the 22, so I can get good shots with it. And uh, yeah, let's go to the next round. Now, we're going to go with the segmented hollow point. Segmented hollow point traveling at 1,640 feet per second. That helmet didn't move. I grazed it right here. I want to... We'll shoot at it again. I want to try to get in this area right here. There, that delivered a nice little energy transfer. Knocked it off the table too, so that was a good hit. Alright, well you can see where the uh, standard velocity and the mini mag bulged it out right here. The segmented hollow point bulged it right out. What it looks like it did was when it hit, it broke off like it was supposed to. So, still didn't penetrate, just bulged the... Kevlar out a little bit. Alright, so this is the 22 segmented hollow point. So now the next round, fastest 22 on the market, for long rifles anyways, is the Copper 22. Traveling at 1,850 feet per second. That is one moving little bullet. All right. Good solid hit. Didn't knock it off the table, but it thwacked it pretty hard. Let's go check it out. Alright, so it looks like I... It 
added in. It hit pretty hard right there. That one's the uh, segmented hollow point. So, right there. Ooh, that's interesting. Bulged it right out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right here is where the copper 22 hit. It ripped the inside. Just it. It ripped it a little bit, but it did not penetrate through. So it's caught. Just the energy that it delivered made that layer of Kevlar split. So that hit pretty damn hard. 22 copper. So the next round I got, and the last one I'm going to shoot at the helmet with, is the 22 Magnum. And uh, this is a semi-jacketed uh, semi soft point. Let's see if I can get a good solid hit with it. That hit pretty hard. Let's go check it out. Alrighty guys. So 22 Magnum hit right here. Kind of went at an angle. Did not penetrate whatsoever. It made the uh, trim come unglued a little bit. Not a big deal. Did not split the Kevlar. It did a little bit, but it did not penetrate whatsoever. So up to 22 Magnum, it will not go through for rimfire rounds. All right. So this Finish, this concludes the first part of the um, helmet testing with the uh, rim fires. I uh, did not penetrate whatsoever. It just split the Kevlar a little bit, but it did not go through. And that was with the uh, the copper twenty two. Um, but everything else is fine. It just the twenty two stuck in it, except for the twenty two short and the twenty two quiet. They just veered off. Um, other than that. I'm very fascinated with the results. Um, I want to thank the soldier that donated these helmets to me for my channel. Uh, it makes it fun to shoot at and test and see how far you can go with something breaking like I did with my shovel. I want to thank Green Mountain Sporting Goods. They've been a big help for my channel. Feel free to stop by. Check out the website at gmsgvt.com. I want to thank uh, Big D's Bait Shop. They've been helping me with my fishing videos. NEK decals. They've been helping me out with all my decals and help me get my name out there. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for part two with the handgun rounds. And hope you guys subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 93SRL. Share it. Retweet it. Do what you have. I share it on Facebook, everything. Um, help me get out there. I'm just a local guy from northern Vermont, so see what we can do. Thanks for watching SRL 93, and stay tuned.